Hey, Naffy, Jason Shavert here, m0a.com, and I am just blessed and thankful to be bringing you just a quick little tip on how we can better ourselves as flight instructors. Because I truly believe that aviation safety, it starts with us, the flight instructors, going above and beyond. Gone are the days of just becoming a flight instructor to time build, go through the motions, waiting for an airline to call, right? It, we have to continue to love on our students and work with our students because we are creating the next generation of aviators and that is a huge responsibility. So I'm thankful uh, for NAFI for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all a little bit today. My advice to you is a simple one and I guarantee it's something you've come across. You see, we teach to the ACS, but however, remember, the ACS is the absolute worst you can do and still become a pilot. It sounds, sounds a lot different than when you say it that way. It's like saying, uh, yeah, you passed with a 70%. That's the worst you could have done on this knowledge test uh, and still go on to become a pilot. ACS is the, is the bare minimums. So you all know uh, I'm always teaching, and I sh I'm sure you're doing this as well, teaching beyond the ACS, beyond the checklist, always going above and beyond. I'm, I'm not a bare minimum type flight instructor. And to that point, when teaching on the ACS, I cannot teach the same maneuver to different people the same way. I have to adapt as a flight instructor. Allow me to explain. I can't teach steep turns. Okay, we know all the ACS requirements, everything's good, but I can't teach steep turns the same way to two different students. Let me give you this example. One student is a big picture type A personality. Maybe they're an entrepreneur. They're just always super busy, big picture type thinker. How would you teach them steep turns? Your next student for your next blocked uh, lesson, they're an engineer and they love the nitty gritty details. They are a, a computer engineer. They have more degrees than you and I can hold up on, on two hands. They just love the details. We're teaching steep turns. Same maneuver, same ACS specifications, two totally different personalities. You see the entrepreneur, the type A personality is gonna wanna know, tell me the big picture, just kind of tell me why I'm doing this, show it to me once and then let me try it. That's probably how a steep turn is going to be taught to that personality. Whereas the more engineer minded person, let's say, we might have a ground lesson first, 15, 20 minutes tops perhaps, talking about the vertical and horizontal components of lift and how that changes and how, and maybe briefly dive into some accelerated stalls and the G loading factors that still go into this. We may even kind of chair fly some and talk about how maneuvering speed changes based on weight, but that's how we're shooting for this maneuvering speed with steep turns. You might say, Jason, that's a lot for a private pilot, but that might be what that personality type needs. They need the details. Then we go up and then will demonstrate it and then they follow and they might need that instant type feedback as well. That's another thing. How are you giving your students feedback? I was always the kind of student who I wanted feedback in the airplane. Tell me just what I screw up right there. Other students, you give them feedback, they might shut down. Some students need feedback. I just take a note. We'll talk about it on the ground. The airplane is a very expensive, fast moving classroom with no pause button. I don't believe the airplane's the best classroom. You know me, I love teaching it all on the ground first. We can't teach the maneuvers the same to all these different personality types. We can't give feedback the same way. We as flight instructors are psychologists at the end of the day. That's why we have the FOI, which so many of us just take for granted, kind of breeze right on through. And I get it, the FAA could have made FOI way more engaging and exciting but we're still psychologists and we have to figure out our students' different learning styles, feedback, constructive criticism, and what they actually need and now tailor our lesson plans, whether they be 61, 141, it doesn't matter. Tailor our lesson plans above and beyond just the minimums to give our students the greatest value. So uh, friends of NAFI, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to share with you. I will be reading every comment uh, that pops in here down below this as well. And I love your feedback as well. Never hesitate to reach out and say, Jason, that was good, but I wish you would have said this. Or no, Jason, you were wrong there. That's how we all learn. And as a community, we get stronger and better and better through feedback from our fellow peers and it would mean the world to me to have feedback of someone at your skill level and certificate level as well. So please don't hesitate to leave a comment as well. Have an outstanding rest of your day and most importantly remember
that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you.